Title of this video, Battle of the Budget PA World. These are the least expensive speakers available that you can use in a PA situation and actually reach a crowd of, I guess, maybe, I guess, 50 people or so. So on the left, we have the new contender, just came out end of 2023, and that is the Alto Busker. It was $400, the price has decreased to $350, and I've even seen it a little lower, uh, something like $328 or something like that, but most places are selling it for $350. I unfortunately got it for, I guess, a little under $400 from Sweetwater, so you can do better. On the right is the speaker that's been out for a while at the same price range, and that is the Mackie Thump Go. Obviously quite a bit larger. Mackie Thump Go is 18 pounds, and the Alto is the featherweight at 12 pounds. But the size difference, obviously, it really makes a difference. The Mackie Thump Go is all, was uh, also $400. I paid three eighty. I th thought I got a great deal, and now it's it's come down to three fifty. So basically, these speakers are at the exact same price. Um, the Mackie has an eight inch woofer, and the Alto has a six point five inch woofer, uh, the same size as the Bose S One Pro. So let's see. Uh, you would think the Mackie would have much better bass with an eight inch. Well, we're going to do a sound demo to see if that is true. Uh, we'll talk about features in a little while. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to level match these speakers. If you've seen any of my videos, sound demos in the past, uh, I emphasize that speakers, as far when you're doing an A-B listening comparison, the volume has to be exactly the same or else your brain will be fooled and you'll automatically pick the speaker that's louder. Especially when you're, when you're seeing a YouTube video, you're not in person, and the microphone I'm using is not, you know, professional grade, so you don't want to be fooled by the louder speaker. Now, if one speaker sounds louder, that means it'll be more efficient because I, I'm going through the process right now, level matching, and I'm going to level match at 85 dB. That is a volume or a gain that professional mixers in the studio use. It's not super loud, that gets fatiguing, and it's not super low that you have to struggle to hear the delicate passages or um, mid-range or whatever. So 85 dB is a good point. I'm gonna spend some time and then I'll come back. Both speakers are battery powered and they're going to be running off their internal battery. And uh, so when you see the little uh, stuffed animal I borrowed from my daughter, that speaker is the one that'll be playing. So in this case, the Alto would be on. When you see that little stuffed animal jumped to the Mackie, then you're going to be comparing it to that speaker. So, here we go for the sound demo.
test I'm going to be playing the alto to begin with and then I'm going to bring up with a mixer I'm going to bring in the Mackie and let's see if you can hear a difference so again I'm going to be starting with the alto by itself and then I'm going to be using a knob or a fader to bring in the Mackie at the same time as the alto and if the Mackie uh, has certain frequencies that are missing from the alto we should be able to hear it clearly. So I'll be um, bringing in the Mackie and, and turning it off, back and forth, alternating. you heard the difference uh, both speakers have a very clean high end I would say maybe the alto had slightly better really close almost a tie but when I played the alto and then brought up the fader of the Mackie playing them at the same time I definitely heard some fullness added by the Mackney <laughs> Mackie uh, and some low end so I guess that larger cabinet makes a difference and the larger driver, 8 inch compared to 6.5, makes a difference. But by no means is it night and day. I would say personally for my own use, if I was using a subwoofer, there would be no reason to go with the larger speaker. The Mackie has all the clarity, and then you add the subwoofer for that low, low mids and lows. It would fill it in. Uh, as far as volume, I'm not going to be doing a max sound test. By the way, that was about 90 dB. I brought it up too, so it can hear it a little better. But uh, as far as max volume, both of these speakers are about equal. They're both louder than the S1 Pro, and I got it in the home about 105 dB max before I saw any kind of clipping. Re really equal. I wouldn't say one is louder than the other. So it really comes down to size, weight. Uh, like I mentioned, I'm going to say that I emphasize it again. Alto at 12 pounds. Uh, Mackie is 18 pounds. Uh, that's quite a big difference. Uh, six pounds in the hand, especially at the end of the evening when you're tired and loading up the car. But uh, I do have a pair of Mackies. Very nice. I do not have a pair of the Altos. I'm thinking of it. Both Bluetooth, both battery powered speakers. So they have a lot of common, uh, both app controlled. Apps are about equal, I would say also. Really a lot of commonality. One of the big downsides is something I want to show you on the back. Hold on a second. Here's the Alto I'm looking at. Uh, it does have a nicer battery uh, indicator where it goes 100%, 75%, 50%, 25%, 25%. the Mackie just has a green, one single green light, and then I believe it turns yellow or red. So definitely the Mackie gives you a more precise battery indicator. But what, what really concerns me uh, about the two differences is here I'm looking at the Alto. The mix out is XLR. You can attach another auxiliary speaker or a subwoofer. It works fine. Also, I see RCA out. Mackie doesn't have that. But then I come over here to the Mackie and you see where it says throughout XLR2. You would think it's the same, same deal, right? Well, it isn't. If you play Bluetooth, it will not transmit signal. So if I'm playing Bluetooth speaker Mackie, and I connect a top or a subwoofer, you will not 
be able to hear those particular speakers. You would have to go into the sub first, into the Mackie. So it really defeats um, the portable advantage of the Mackie that you have to either use a mixer or go in to lose your Bluetooth ability. So I was very disappointed in that. Other people have pointed it out online and no one can explain why um, Mackie did that. But that to me is a big downside. But again, if you're, using, if you're a DJ and you're going through a controller or a, a musician going through a mixer, then I guess it's not a factor. Uh, one thing I definitely like about the Mackie better is their controls. You can see very clearly channel two, channel one, main, they're all at 12 o'clock noon. Uh, when you go over to the Alto, it also has controls, but they're digital controls and you have no idea where you are. And you can't repeat your volume easily unless you use the app. And even the app is a little glitchy. So um, that's definitely a plus, a positive for the Mackie, where it has more of an old school dials for repeatability. Big plus in my opinion. So in conclusion, uh, the winner. Well, unfortunately I can't pick a winner. There's too many variables here that you as the buyer need to decide what's important to you. For example, I'm using these type of speakers for a mobile setup. I do like to use a subwoofer. I don't like to use another piece of gear, a mixer. I don't use a controller, I'm not a DJ. So I need that throughout. So that's a kind of a deal breaker for me for the Mackie. Uh, on the other hand, uh, you know, the Alto does have a little shire in the, the mid lows and the lows. The Mackie had a more full range sound. They're both equally loud, so that's not a factor. But when you come down to size, if that's a factor, obviously just looking at it, the Alto can fit, fit into your vehicle. Two of them can fit in a, uh, in a one single carry bag pretty easily. So it really comes down to what you need, what you're looking for, your, your application. But sound wise, they're, they're really, really close. And to me, uh, anybody starting out in this uh, hobby for $350, $350, you can't do better. You, you really, technology is giving you a lot for your money right now. Uh, like I mentioned, I purchased these at 380, and it's gone down. You know, everything after the, uh, during the pandemic, everything went up, but now things have settled down. And now that I think there's a glut of portable PA speakers and things have come down. So I, I think you're getting a good deal at 350. That's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the sound demo. Give me your opinion down below, which you heard. I definitely heard um, a noticeable difference. And I'm not using the greatest microphone, so I don't know how it'll translate to YouTube. But in person, I definitely heard a difference. And hope you enjoyed. This is Bill. Until the next time. Later.